Hello everybody, today I will show you how to take a screenshot and how to adjust it in Photoshop. So first go and choose what you would like to have in your screenshot, so the content of your screenshot. I would like to have this part of this site in, in my screenshot, so this content. So when you choose what you would like to have in your screenshot, go and press keyboard button called print screen. Press on it once and then go and open Photoshop. When you are in Photoshop, click on File and New and create a new document. I am pleased with width and height. For resolution, I would like to have 300. Then just press on OK. And the next thing you would have to do is to click on edit and paste and when you click on edit and paste the screenshot will be pasted in in your project as you can see at the bottom I already blurred some text to achieve that you will have to select this tool which is called rectangular marquee tool and then just select whatever you would like to blur. Let's say that we would like to blur this part of the screenshot. So select it, click on filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Choose the radius, you have the preview here and in the working area. Lower the radius. When you are pleased with that, click on OK and just click on select and deselect and you have blurred this part of the screenshot. So let's undo this quickly. Use a history panel. Now let's say that you would like to blur the whole screen except this part. So if we want to make this part visible and other part blur, you will have to do that with next step. So again select this tool and go and make a selection around the part of the screenshot which you would like to have visible. So this part we, w we don't want to blur. Now when you select this part go and click on select, inverse and click on filter, blur and Gaussian blur and choose the radius then just click on OK and you have blurred all other thing except this part of the screenshot. Let's again quickly undo this. Now let's say that we would like to have this part of the screenshot popped out. If we want to do that select again this tool, create a selection around the part which you would like to have pop out then click on select inverse and click on image adjustments and choose this effect levels and make the selection more dark so when you are pleased with the effect, click on OK. Let's add a blur to this selection also. So click on Filter, Blur, and click on Gaussian Blur. And when you're pleased with the effect, click on OK. And you can see we have, we created this part to pop out in our screenshot. So let's quickly undo the changes, so just use the history panel again. Now let's say that we would like to create a drop shadow for this part of the screenshot. To achieve that, select Rectangle Marquee Tool and make a selection around the object where you would like to create drop shadow. Then just click on edit and cut and make a new layer here and click on edit and paste and then adjust it on the primary place.
So let's just zoom a little bit in. When you adjust it, just click on the layer where this part of the screenshot is and click on this button, then click on drop shadow. Adjust the shad drop shadow. And then just click on OK. And you have added the drop shadow to a specific part of the screenshot. So if you want to circle the text, you can achieve that quickly with these tools over here. So if you want to create a rectangle around the text, you can choose this one. So choose a rectangle tool and up here select the path tool. So the second option over here. Then just create a path around the text you would like to select. Then adjust the brush size. So this is pretty much okay. The next thing is to select this path selection tool and just click with right mouse button on the path, click on stroke path and click choose the brush tool and click OK and you're done. At the end just click on this check and you're done. You can delete the path quickly. This is pretty much all in basic way about adjusting the screenshots. So. You can help yourself if you want to adjust your screenshots with these approaches. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.